Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Stocks and I'm a product manager on the Meraki Switching team. I'm gonna take the next five minutes to talk to you about some exciting things that my team has been working on over the past couple months. In the end, you'll walk away with an understanding of new hardware platforms, features, and enhancements that we've recently launched. So let's jump in. First, I wanna start by saying thank you. We now have over 2.5 million switches online in the Meraki dashboard. So to all of our customers, on behalf of the entire switching team, I wanna say thank you for choosing Cisco Meraki to be your cloud managed switching provider. By far the most exciting news that I have to share today is the launch of three new hardware platforms. Let's briefly talk about each of these starting from left to right. First, we launched Meraki's first ever cloud managed ruggedized switch, the MS-130R. With the MS-130R's extended operating temperature range, along with its flexible mounting and power options, you can now extend connectivity and power to wherever you need it. Second, we launched the MS-130 series. The MS-130 is an evolution of the MS-120 and 125, but now brings cost-effective MGIG into the access layer, as well as introduces a brand new 12-port compact switch model. Finally, we launched the Catalyst 9300-M. This is for those of you who know and love Catalyst switching, but also want the Meraki cloud managed experience. You can now order a Catalyst 9300-M and begin configuring that switch from the Meraki dashboard before it even arrives, just like you can any other Meraki switch. And the greatest part about this is that those console cables are no longer required. Now with the expansion of our hardware portfolio, I'm very excited to announce they will be extending adaptive policy support to the MS-130 and the MS-130R. A couple of things I do wanna highlight is that adaptive policy will only be supported on MS-130X SKUs as well as the MS-130R and is not available at launch. We do intend to bring adaptive policy support for these platforms in our next software release. This is awesome because now we will finally be able to truly provide adaptive policy support all the way from the access to the edge. Along with the launch of our new hardware platforms, I'm also excited to say that our latest firmware, MS-16, is now generally available. MS-16 is a follow-on maintenance release. However, it does come with several new features, such as local status page packet capture support, ACL hit counters, as well as DHCP v6 and IP v6 RA guard. Coming very soon, we will be launching a completely refreshed topology page in Dashboard. This refreshed topology map will give you a new intuitive and interactive experience in monitoring and troubleshooting your networks. It's gonna provide you with unparalleled visibility and control over the entire network with an integrated health overview, device details, and client details all in a single page. With this enhanced topology page, you'll also be able to quickly gain visibility into device health and, for example, quickly focus on devices that are alerting on the network so that you can more easily identify, remediate, and return those devices to a healthy state. Finally, I want to highlight a few quality of life improvements that we've recently shipped. First, Meraki switches will now display device uptime in dashboard. Device uptime will display how long a Meraki switch has been powered on and will be accompanied by a last boot reason, which is also logged in the event log. We are using a phased rollout for this feature, so expect to see this in dashboard in the near future. Second, we introduced bulk switch replacement into the early access page. This feature leverages the current switch cloning for functionality to clone and replace multiple switches at once from your organization's inventory page. Replaced switches can either be placed back into inventory or can be unclaimed from the organization, thus simplifying the whole workflow and allowing for scalability. Lastly, another feature that we recently launched into early access is org-wide radius servers. Now you can define radius servers at the organization level and quickly select them from a dropdown list when creating a switching access policy. So gone are the days of repeatedly having to enter radius server IP addresses and port numbers for every radius server and every access policy that you create in your switching environment. I do wanna note that this feature is only supported in switching today. 
I want to conclude by saying, as always, we welcome your feedback. So please join the Meraki community and let us know how we can make updates like this better in the future. The Meraki community is also the best place to post questions and interact with other Meraki users. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.